All right, everybody, welcome back to episode two of uh, WC8. I uh, just finished episode one. <laughs> I got one day to record. I, uh, I gotta be, I gotta be going hard. Ooh, okay, so we got a few things to fix here. Uh, let's fix these things. Good, good, good. One year and thirteen thousand, and we spent six thousand on the repairs. Great, fucking perfect. So we got a few things here, and look, yeah, let's. You know, I want to go to this so we can get more money. This is the this one is the good one. Uh, we got more crew members. That's perfect. There we go. We got more crew members, more stuff. Hopefully, you guys left something like some suggestions. I, I will see them, but not right now, not immediately, because I am a bunch recording these things. Manufactured tryout for Ford in Germany. Sure, let's. I want to try that, and let's go on a rest day, and then we go into Corsica. I want to see how the R5, the WRC2 Fiesta uh, feels. Alright, let's see. Uh, because after all, we will be choosing a. Uh, once we beat WRC. Oh shit, I forgot. First gear start for these cars. And I've only driven the, Sk the Skoda in, in WRC2. And uh, I don't know what car to choose. Because they drive differently, they feel differently. Shit, dude, G Germany is completely redone, which I'm very happy about because the other Germany got boring really very, very, very quick. And I really like, I, I, my favorites are the tarmac rallies, for sure. Shit. First gear is viable on this car, while on the, on the, the small Fiesta it's really not. This is, this is, as you can see, this is the old Fiesta still, with, uh, with these head the tail lights and all that. Oh shit, you're going way too fast. I, I like how it feels, it's a bit... But it's a bit... It's a bit squirmy, it's a bit like way too... Sensitive to inputs and everything. It doesn't matter, we need to get like... Uh, by doing these tryouts you get higher... Um, what do you call it? Higher respect with the manufacturers and whatnot. So that's... It's a good investment. Oh, it's... A could have been a bit better there. Is Germany is fuck, 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 fast. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, come on. Oh, I did not see that. Come on then. That was a massive. Oh, we got steering damage. We got all kind of damage. Oh, oh that's nice. I like Germany, man. I really like Germany. Break, push. Oh hell yeah! All right, time's up. But I think we've, I think we would, we will get the XP. Yep, 50. Oh, we. Oh my God, 93 percent. Hell yeah! All right, let's start the next event, which is relaxation. Oh, we got new uh, objectives. You don't receive more than one uh, one minute penalty. That will be easy. Do not use hard tires and two rally. With these small cars, the the, the stages are short and uh, the rallies are short, so we don't really need to use hard uh, hard tires. But that's still annoying. Like two seven minute seven kilometers, dude. Fuck it, dude. I guess we're gonna keep with. We need the money. We got the the bad draw for uh, stages. So these are very long stages. Seven kilometers on this track on this uh, at Corsica is just. Very tiresome, but as you can see, but I just I still read. I really love tarmac, but Corsica is such a very specific, like hard tarmac to master and to be good at. That uh, you know, it's 50 50. Corsica has, I think, a few newer ish stages, but I don't know. No, oh, that's a lot of a lot of smoke from our uh, from our soft tires now. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably know this, but soft compound is more grippy, better for fast times, but gets worn out faster. As you can see, we're already at 95% on the front. Oh, that's a nice smack into the wall. Uh, while hard tires are less, they they sustain more damage, but they're not as fast. But we got that option. I would have chosen hard tires for this. For the simple reason, it's 13 kilometers on a front-wheel drive car, and the front will be down to 50 at the end there, and we might lose a lot of time, but we'll see. That's why I got a I got a attack right now in the beginning while the tires are still fresh. There we go, green. But 
uh, me um, mistakes are so easily made on this track, so, so I don't, I wouldn't get my hopes up for first place in here. I have actually, this is one of the, the rallies where I most have uh, just d DNF in this game and in WRC 7 because there are a few corners where you just kind of fly off because you don't expect it. Oh shit, because you don't expect it and the, the game doesn't warn you and you're just going to leave the track and once you fucking fly 550 meters right the game's like I don't think you're going to finish you know I don't think uh, you're going to recover from that so it gives gives you a DNF for the day and maybe for the, uh, if it's a second day for a rally that's why I also uh, installed perma like no restarts no nothing cuz that's boring we're going real hardcore on this except on authentic uh, an authentic difficulty because that w we we finished fifth in the first rally, but we were still in contention. We were still in contention. That's the whole thing. Like I wanted this to be, uh, I want this to be, you know, in contention. I want to be uh, up there with the the fast boys, but not being the not just beating them easily, willy nilly, or them just destroying me every single time, finishing twelfth every single time. That's not fun. This tight section is so hard. Because you gotta be, you gotta be very careful with it. Whoa, that was oh, that was right on the edge of that fucking cliff, man. That fucking giant rock cliff thing. All right, we. Oh, tarmac! Oh, tarmac, dude. Tarmac is the best. Ooh. Oh, we gotta watch out, I was being a bit... I was getting overzealous there. Oh, shit. Into left four, into right I'm getting a bit overzealous and getting a bit too comfortable with this. We don't want to do that. We don't get too comfortable because we might start losing left and right. Another green. I am a Tormac specialist, dude. Always been. Well, not necessarily, but that's what, this is my favorite to watch, to play on, to drive on. This is my favorite. Like, Tormac is a shit. There's a big hit though. Oh, yes. 76 percent the front end. That's not good. That is not good at all. Come on, dude. These are so long stages. Oh fuck! All right, no, nothing big's happened. Nothing big's happened. I'm definitely starting to lose traction. The car is getting a bit more wonky on me. Flash them lights, boys. Tap on the brakes because yeah, I'm not too sure about the exit speed here. And my traction as well. It's quite a tight set. Oh. Sorry about that. It's quite a tight section, bro. Like, I don't even know. We got a lot of hairpins dropping the tire like I'm Takumi Fujiwara, man. Initial goddamn D. Oh, that's, that's a nice smack into something. Bumpy roads, man. The roads are so bumpy here. Oh, hell yeah. Just very little left to the finish line. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, full walk. Good, 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 good. I'm just banging off the rev limiter, dude. We are already under steering deck, motherfuckers, dude. We are at 60% on the tires. Oh. Kind of, I kind of fucked it up there at the end, but. Oh, 14 second lead. Holy shit, dude. I was driving out of my mind there. Fuck. I was driving out of my mind. Alright, let's see. Second stage. I'm gonna drive a bit more defensive on this one. We've got a 14 second lead and absolutely. Well, that was a risky start. Like, I could have gotten a. Uh, I could have gotten a time penalty for crossing the line too soon. Oh, that boulder there is not good. I'm gonna try and uh, drive a bit more. 
bit more fuck conservatively because our tires are very not well like you, you can see like I'm just under steering left and right ah fuck that really pushed my car out of out of whack is this the same track but just reversed fucking hell it's gonna be a tough track again 60 we lost we lost around 40 percent of the tire wear one way so we would fuck you we're gonna end up with not a lot of tire at the end of this I'm probably gonna lose oh shit I'm probably gonna lose some time at this on this one, but I don't think I'm gonna lose 14 seconds unless I make a massive mistake, which can be very easy. Nine seconds in a in a if I run off the road, and then there we go. They're almost on us. So I've gotta be. That's why I gotta be driving cautiously right now. Green, perfect. Oh, that's a bit close to the wall. Oh, sliding off. Fifth gear. He actually hit fifth gear. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Dude, uh, oh, I don't know, man. I'm on my game right now. I am on my game right now. Oh, don't cut. And I just see the massive boulder there. Oh, my God. Car is much more controlled. Like, these cars are the best on tarmac. Like, no doubt about it. The, the, the two-wheel drive front wheel drive life uh, it's not really suited for all the other things but on tarmac is doing quite well like in and back in the day like in the 90s the WRC the group I don't know like oh 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 shit fuck and the <laughs> before you went that way and now you went the, the go this way and it's like muscle memory from WRC 6 I just gotta fucking go that way. Fuck, dude, that's a big mistake. We lost a lot of time. It's like it's like muscle memory. I just I know that I should e-brake turn to, turn to the uh, to the right, but you're not supposed to go there on this on this iteration of the game and the rally. Oh my god! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Very, I gotta be careful. Like this area, I'm just, I'm just gonna drive extra, extra carefully, because uh, you can make a very big mistake here because it's so tight. It's like you get tunnel vision, you stop making mistakes and all that. I mean, I don't want that. Oh, that's a big bump. Car is braking traction on the front wheels. Fuck. Forty percent. That's great. Halfway through, we are at forty percent, dude. Hopefully, don't. If we get, if we get a puncture, we are fucked. Red one, of course, made a big mistake there. You can see, like the car just suddenly starts revving out because it's losing traction on the front end. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful, man. All right, nice. We break, but uh, we ain't got the we ain't got the all-wheel drive drift power. We just try to rotate the, rotate the car. Oh man, they're already all right. The tires already uh, yellow, orange, whatever the fuck that car is. It's a very unspecific color. It's not really orange. It's not really yellow. I should probably stop looking there and look in the road. Fucking soft tires, man. Shit. Oh. Oh hell yeah! Considering the amount of tire wear we have, I think we're doing very fine. Another green. Hell yeah! Shit! Oh no! Oh no! That is not good. Engine damage. I don't know if you can hear it. The cool thing about uh, the Nvidia Shadow Play is that it splits the audio and the game audio and the uh, and my and microphone audio. So I can easily edit them in Sony Vegas. So at least they will have uh, better audio proportions than in my other games. Very. Oh shit. 
We're doing so, we're doing fine. Oh, understeer there, understeer. A ton of understeer. I'm very close to the finish line, so I don't want to do something stupid right now. Like, oh my god, I could have easily gone off there. Woo! Seven seconds, yeah, significantly slower than, like, how, how, half, half slower than uh, the first run, but still. Let's get a nice, oh, fuck, dude. On the turbo. You know what? It's fucking automatic. We're winning this one. Anyway, fully fix the car. I don't give a fuck. Holy shit, two, eight, another two long stages. Fuck. So, uh, this video has gone quite long. I don't want to make these, like, 30 minutes each. So, we're gonna end it here, and next time we will be finishing Corsica up. Thank you for watching, and uh, any feedback will be appreciated, and I will see it later. Uh, yes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.